what's up guys so this is my um, Clash Royale video for today um, I, you seem to like it yesterday quite a few of you have been playing it as well which is pretty good um, and you can, there's the clan aspect of this as well so you could start clans and um, join up I think that'd be pretty cool so I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna probably start my own clan um, um, so if you've got any ideas for any names for me just leave them in the comments and I'll have a look if there's any pretty cool ones I will um, use them so if you only see anyone else's idea for the name um, just like it uh, and that'll show me which you think the best one is um, so today I have to start with I'm going to um, just show you a battle I did earlier um, it was quite a good battle um, I'm getting a bit better actually uh, learning a few tricks here and there. Um, uh, so yeah, so what I've learned is to wait until you've got more elixir so you can send two towers at once. So I usually start off with a giant and then a strong tower behind it. So he's going for a, a, an airborne attack. So I'm going to go down this left hand side um, with that because I knew, know he's used up all his elixir there. So I can do a bit of damage. He's going to take out my one of my towers there. Um, so I probably should have gone on the defensive then rather. But um, we're going to take a lot of damage off his um, tower up there as well. Um, so um, I've just unlocked these little flying goblin things. Which aren't very strong but airborne aspect of them is pretty good. Um, but my favourite troop so far is definitely that thing that he's just used, that Jousting Geezer. Uh, jousting Knight guy, he's absolutely awesome. Um, and he can just take out a tower by himself, pretty much, um, if, if they've used up all their elixir and they've got nothing. Um, so I'm on the back foot here, um, so I'm going to have to go, with 1 minute 40 left, I'm gonna, at some point I'm going to have to go for his... Uh, his left hand tower, try and take that out, um, just um, so if you, if you draw in at the end of the time then it goes to sudden death, I think it's another minute it adds, uh, so right with the giants as well, he's he's placed his thing down so I'm going to put my giant just after she's passed, so I'm going to pop it there and she, t no, she turns around and aims for him and then I usually place a um, quite a strong troop down after the words just to, t to take her out attacking him which allows the giant to get through um because he's just super powerful um and then yeah so as you can see i've got to their king's base at the minute so he's on the defensive and i've just put that jousting geezer down who's just gonna um he's just gonna go in and just wipe that tower out um, Put this little robot, little robot guy in as well. And a few of these flying goblins. Um, so he's gone for a flying thing as well. So he's probably going to take out my troops. But I mean, we've got strong health and all that. So we just need um, we just need one more um, one more fl fireball, which we've got one now. So I'm just going to bomb his base now. From his king, king of the castle, geezer. That was a good game. So I thought I'd show you that one first. And now I'm going to jump in and do uh, do a couple of um, just live games. Uh, and see what a noob I am. But you see at the bottom, you see these chests. You get four slots. Um, the tech ages to unlock actually. I think that's how you unlock. Uh, different troops and upgrade troops you get cards in there which um, upgrades the troops you've got or you can find new ones when those four slots are filled you, in a battle you can actually get another chest you get one free chest every three or four hours I think it is and you get one crown chest a day the crown chest you need to have ten crowns and you get the crowns by winning battles by destroying the bases um, but yeah once these four slots are filled at the bottom um, battles that you do don't get you more chests so w when that one's opened in one hour that silver one that's opening now um, I will have an empty slot and then see you cannot receive new chests start a battle anyway so once I've, that one's opened I'll have an empty slot so I can do a battle and if I get three crown win then I can um, 
So I'm going to put some skeletons down. Um, just an all out skeleton fest. Uh, then yeah, I'll have an empty slot and then I can get another chest. I mean the gold chests take 8 hours to unlock which is a long time. Um, so it's a bit of a pay to win game this. But I'm going to try and do it without spending any money to see how long it takes. Um, quite a lot of you have been playing it as well. Let me know if you've um, if you've spent any money on it, or are you going free to play? You can, you can do it. You just have to be patient. I know a lot of people um, aren't patient and want to just get straight in to be competitive. But when you when you pay to win, you're getting bigger, better opponents as well. Um, and if you've not got the experience, if you've just paid to paid to get like that, they're still going to be owning you anyway. So I think it's best to do it like this. Um, give you experience So um, I found these skeleton armies pretty good as well, especially for the giants. See he's just used it on me Because they just hoard around your giant just take him out instant instantly pretty much and they're gonna take out my Jousting geezer as well um, So I'm gonna put my skeleton army down. I think his is level 3 are there and I'm in level 1 so He's gonna come off better um, The arrows are pretty good against all these troops yeah, that musket guy is a bit stronger. Um, so yeah, this this isn't looking too good for me. This this game. I think when it gets down to a minute left as well, you get you get faster elixir, which that's when it starts to become quite intense. Especially if you've already lost one of your towers because they just start deploying troop after troop on your side. So you're just on the defensive. Um, and as you can see, I'm on the defensive quite badly already here. So. I'm going to put some skeletons around his giant. Um, oops, um, that was foolish. Um, so I've put my skeletons down now. Uh, just arrow them, he's done the same. Uh, and put these flying troops because he can't hit flying troops. They're pretty cool, them little robo, robo knights. And yep, so he's taking out my base, so uh, this isn't going well. Especially in the last 20 seconds when you're getting faster elixir. I've got no chance now. Um, and yeah, those tombstones as well. Quite tactical tombstones where you can put them down when somebody's on the attack because you're um, because it's like a structure so your giants actually go for that instead of going for the other base. So yeah, that's a loss, unfortunately. I can't end on a loss, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do another, another battle. I quite like these little, uh, you can chat to the opponent as well. That would be quite good in balloons, I think. I, mean, I think it'd be quite difficult to do in balloons because the keyboard would have to pop up. But they could do something like that where it's just like uh, emojis or um, predefined te uh, text. Just a good game or good luck. So I'm going to start off with a giant, he's going to do the same, I'm going to put my um, joust or skeletons, what should I do, I'll put the jousting guy, so I quite like that wizard guy that he's put down, I have not unlocked that yet, he puts, deploys three skeletons every few seconds, um, so I'm looking forward to unlocking that, let me know what troops you've got, um, If you, I think it's called a witch, that one, or something like that. Got a skeleton army just to take her out. Um, so that this thing as well that he's just placed down is quite good against the hordes because it spins round and takes out loads of them at once because the skeleton army's not got a lot of health. But yeah, like I say, I like this little Terminator, Terminator Knight. Um, um, so those jousters, and they run those jousters as well when they're not attacking something. But I've put my giant down just to just to get rid of that jouster from attacking my base just down on health um, so these could take me out now but, I mean it is quite tactical actually this game and I think a oh, disaster that's a disaster um, especially when it's coming up to one minute left so I'm going to um, I'll use my skeleton armor there. Just put your giant down, so that was good timing for the skeletons. 
help some get some archers in to help out as well. Uh, so that's good news. We've taken that out fairly quickly. He's used his elixir there, um, and, he, and he's used even more. You putting her down. Right, so six seconds left. I'm going to have to go for it now. So I'm going to put a giant there up at the top. Let him work up. Um, I mean, if I can bring this to sudden death. Um, also, he's put a jouster there. So I'm going to put an army down. Um, that was perfect. Just getting the army then. I think a lot of it's luck as well, so this is quite good. I've got a massive horde heading towards his tower. Um, so to be honest with you, they could go up and take the um, main base out. So he's put a giant down at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to put this little Terminator guy down. So we're going to take his base out at the top. Sweet! That was pretty good, pretty close. I mean, I had a lot of health on my, um, I had a lot of health on my main base. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. So, um, no, I won't do another one. Um, because, so how long is this video been? No, I won't do another. Right, so yeah, this is the clans. Um, create your own clan. It's a thousand coins. Uh, at the moment, I think I've got about. 300, 400, um, so I can't do it just yet. I mean, I could buy some for gems, but leave in the comments some ideas for some names of a clan, and I will create it, and I'll let you know when I've done it. Um, um, yeah, so that would be pretty sweet. Just chat to you, chat to some of you guys as well um, in there. I don't know what you do in clans, whether you battle the other people. Not looked, uh, so this is TV Royale. This is where... A lot of the decent replays are, I think. Um, so a lot of these are the best players in the game, or paid the most money to win, or they've had it early. Um, um, so yeah, I've watched a couple of them, and they can be quite tactical. Uh, look, Malt, Malt there. <laughs> um, I watched one of Malt's replays actually, and it was quite a good game. Uh, but I think Malt put a bit of money into the game. So these are the cards you get, so this is my deck which I'm using at the minute, um, these are the actual towers that I've got um, unlocked but not using, so let me know if there's anything in there that's worth using, that Valkyrie, Valkyrie yeah, she's quite good, she's the one that spins around, um, I've got some upgrades on these but I don't want to spend coins on them just yet, let me know if any of these are good um, and worth using. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, I will leave it there. I um, hope you've enjoyed this uh, Clash Royale video. Thanks for watching.